Thanks for going electric with Drive EV. We're going to take you on a tour of the most important things you need to know about your new 30 kilowatt Nissan Leaf. First things first, let's get you in the car. You can lock and unlock the car from either the key fob or from the buttons on the boot and on the door handle. Before we move into the car and show you the interior features, I'd like to show you through the charging port situation, which in the Leaf is located here. Nissan Leaf has two charge ports in the front of the car. On the left-hand side, you can see the Chademo or Chademo port. This is your DC fast charging port. So when you're out on the road, you'll use that in the DC fast chargers. At home, you'll mostly use this, which is the AC charging port, your slow charging port, which you just plug into the wall. Inside the Leaf, we have, moving from right to left, in the door pocket, we have your basic window functions for all four windows, door handle release, of course, and down here you have a fairly standard Nissan left and right electric mirror control and a button to pull in the mirrors. From here you can lock your windows so no one can open them and you can lock the car of course there as well. Starting from left to right we have the charging flap. We have locking the charger into the car. That can be an automatic setting or it can be a, you can lock, just lock it now or you can leave it off. If you're charging at home, you'll mostly leave that off for your convenience. Over here, you have your charge timer defeat button. If you have a charge timer set and you want to charge right, right now, if you've got low battery during the middle of the day, for example, you can press that button and defeat the charge timer. Over here, we have the pedestrian warning sound off function. This is your heated steering wheel control. It's much more efficient to heat the human body rather than the inside of a cabin. So heating up your steering wheels, a nice little luxury there. If you've got a lot of weight in your boot, you can adjust the height of your headlamps so you don't dazzle people as you're coming towards them. And here you can turn off your traction control. Up here you have your trip od odometer functions. You have the brightness of the screen uh, in front of you, which I should just show you now. maximum brightness during the day, a little bit less at night. These buttons change according to what the screen says. So right now we've got a little bit of a low battery because uh, I've been driving around. We can exit that and then we can go into the menu settings and, and change things with this button here. And uh, the other one is an enter function. Moving over to the steering wheel, you've got your usual Nissan controls, indicators, headlamps, wipers, all those kind of things. You've got your normal multi-function column switches here, high beams, headlights, indicators, wipers, and so on. On the steering wheel itself, you have stereo functions and cruise control functions. So volume, this button doesn't work here. This button obviously changes the source. You can actually phone through this. Uh, you can select OK on the stereo and cycle through the channels and the volume here. Over here we have cruise control and eco. Econ eco uses less energy but delivers less power to the front wheels. Cruise control on off, speed up, slow down, coast, that kind of thing, and cancel your cruise control from there. Eco uses less energy but delivers less power to the front wheels. Cruise control on off. Speed up, slow down, coast, that kind of thing, and cancel your cruise control from there. Behind the steering wheel. On the left-hand side here, we have our battery temperature. You might see that change on a very hot day, or if you go out on a road trip and do an awful lot of rapid charging, at which point you'll see it reach towards the red. This is not a alarming thing, just need to look. It's just something you need to be aware of and, and uh, manage from time to time. If you're using it around town and you're charging at home, you'll barely see that move. Above that, you have the power flow meter. If it's moving towards the right-hand side of this display, then you're using power to propel yourself forward. If it's moving towards the left, then you're regenerating power, and that's the regenerating symbol there as far as Nissan are concerned. Below that, you've got your little Nissan Leaf. That tells us that we're in ready mode. Ready mode means you put it in drive, which I'll show you now. Foot on the brake, into D, back again into B for braking mode. We'll talk about that in just a second. Or into reverse, back into park. Car's ready to get on with its day. Uh, below that is the multifunction display. It tells you an awful lot of information about what's going on in the car, trip meter, those kind of useful metrics. 
Uh, to the right of that, you can see that I've got a low battery at the moment. Low battery is a relative term. Still got 28 Ks, I'm only three Ks from the office. Coming on to the battery, if you ask somebody about the state of health of their battery, they'll often refer to their car as a X amount of bars leaf. 12 bar, 11 bar, 10 bar, 6 bar, something like that. These are the bars on the far right. It is an easy glance of how much health your battery has. Really, don't worry about that sort of thing. It's something that concerns you when you first get your car, and after that, you tend to forget all about it. Then you've got the actual amount of uh, battery remaining right now, which, as you can see, is 28 kilometers flashing away there, and we've got about 20 something percent of the battery, which is loads because I'm 5Ks away from the charger. Up above, you will see the information you really need to know right now. So these two warning lights are on because we've got a low battery, low-ish. This over here is a, a little tree which grows as you drive your leaf more. In the center, you've got your speed. And to the right, you've got what time it is and what temperature it is outside. Electric cars use a bit more range when the air is dense and cold because pushing harder through dense cold air and also because you'll be running the heaters, wipers and lights, all those kind of useful things. To start the leaf, you put your foot hard on the brake, you press the power button. You'll hear the leaf song, the green leaf will appear. In an SN Leaf, you have three pedals, accelerator, normal, brake, normal, also brake. This over here on your left-hand side is your uh, parking brake. It is possible to drive away because Leafs have quite a lot of torque. It is possible to drive with your parking brake on. Just be aware of that. The car will tell you. It will beep and you won't go very fast. Moving to the left by the cup holders, get my shoes out of the way. Moving to the left by the cup holders, you've got a couple of functions here, cup holders themselves, little slot for your phone or, or knickknacks. These are your seated heat, these are your seated heat controls. These are your heated seat controls. The left hand seat, driver's seat, the rear seats are also heated and they're in a separate switch. Down by the left hand side, you've got a USB. This is for charging your phone and also uh, music up to the stereo. So you plug your phone in, you can listen to music that's on your phone through the car stereo, or you've got standard aux lead down there. Moving up, you've got your HVAC controls. All the energy for the car comes out of the battery. So if you want the car to be warmer, it will take your range. Something to be aware of, you can heat the car on a timer, and we'll do a separate video on that, because it's a little bit involved. You can turn off everything, you can have the car just on a fan, you can have the AC on, and uh, the car will also show you how much energy is being used by the actual things you've got going. And I'll show you how that works in just a second. Up here, That's pretty bright, isn't it? Up here we have the stereo. We do not install New Zealand maps. I don't believe they're available. In Japan, up here we have... Up here we have your stereo and timer functions and uh, the, the central operating system of the car. It has a CD player. Sometimes you get a bonus Japanese CD. Not today. On the left-hand side, you select your map, which doesn't work in New Zealand. They would be out of date pretty quickly anyway. Menu functions, uh, which we can talk you through another time as well. That it can show you all the useful stuff and the car status. So right now you can see everything's turned off and we've just got the fans going. Track seek for your music. Most interesting button on this side is the zero emissions button. You can set your charge timer, your climate control timer, 
and most importantly, your energy info. Turn that light off so you can get a bit more in. So we've got 28 kilometers of range here. We're using basically nothing uh, less, oops, yeah, less than half a kilowatt is being used by the climate control. If we turn on the heaters, you can see we lose a little bit of range there and it tells us that we can make some savings. As you're driving around, you've got a little display of how much fun the motor's having. And it breaks that down to climate control and other systems as well. And you can also, on this page, see your average or instant uh, kilometers per kilowatt hour, how efficient you're driving. On the right-hand side, standard stuff, you've got your radio, CD, television, which doesn't work here, doesn't work in Japan anymore either, or your auxiliary inputs, uh, volume, and let's turn the whole thing off. If you have to pull over by the side of the road, that's your emergency signals. Up here lie uh, a place to put your sunglasses if you like them to rattle some down lighters and the various in-car lighting functions. Here is the heated seat switch for the rear seats. If you can see that you're using a bit more power than you think you should do, then have a look back and see if that's switched on. It's got low, it's got high, and it's got off.